Hello everybody, this is Mondaf, and I'm playing a new Let's Play on Feed the Beast. This is a standard install. I did um, add Optifine just to help my computer run a little bit smoother. Uh, I'm not using a C and I'm not using cheats. Um, so hopefully we get a good world and we don't start in like a swamp or a marsh or something ugly. So I can get around and uh, start collecting resources right away. I do have some really fun ideas of what I want to do during this uh, playthrough of the game. Yuck, Taiga. Um, so I'm going to collect some basic resources. Uh, I know this is kind of the boring part of the game, but hopefully you guys will um, like uh, entertain you with some of my ideas that you guys can hopefully get excited for over time. Um, there are a lot of mods in Feed the Beast, and um, Mally and I have been learning... Uh, a good portion of them. I don't. I wouldn't say I'm an expert at the mods, or you know that I know everything. Uh, far from it. But I have a good handle on most of the core mods. Um, <clears throat> and if you do too, you can appreciate that some of the mods can be a little bit overpowered at times. Um, specifically, you know, build buildcraft gives you the ability to move uh, items around, so it makes it really easy to have um, like automated farms that just literally do everything for you and so all you have to do is you know stand still and you just have your everything farm and everything comes into a chest <clears throat> so um, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, I will be building this village it's my overworld project uh, and I have a couple rules that will hopefully make oh no force fire hopefully make some of the mod interactions a little bit more interesting um, First of all, in the village, each building has will have a purpose. So, say I want to generate IC power, have a power plant. Well, that'll be one building in the village. And if I want to have a pumpkin farm, that would be, you know, one building. I wouldn't necessarily build a building for that, but, uh, you know, one area. And buildcraft pipes will not be able to connect one building to another. Um, so that's kind of an, hopefully an interesting way to require me to use... Um, railcraft or other methods. Um, update lighting. There we go. Don't be ugly. You too. There we go. Uh, hopefully use other methods to move items. Um, as well, it also limits me as far as uh, in IC2 power. I will be allowing power to generate uh, and be transmitted through cables uh, from house to house because uh, if I have all my generators in one house and I want to process ores in another, I'm going to need that macerator in the metalsmith, not in the... Well, that's a really cool ice cave. That's really neat. Okay, well, here's mountains, so we'll grab some stone off the side. Hopefully some coal as well. Um, so hopefully those will make a few of the mods that uh, have different ways of going about solving these problems, give them a place instead of just using, you know, Buildcraft or IC to pretty much do um, full world automation. Um, so that's the idea. Another great idea that I'm really excited to do is that I will be building these cities, um, cities plural, in each dimension there will be a different city. Um, so I will be building one, a village in the overworld. That'll be the first, um, the first project is to work on that village. I have plans for the nether and for the uh, uh, twilight forest, which is another mod and uh, some of the Mistcraft ages as well. So hopefully those will all be pretty fun. Um, another major rule from, for this playthrough is that I will not be doing manual strip mining. Um, and so I will not be going down into a mine and gathering resources that way. Uh, I think that is kind it's boring first of all. I don't just don't care to go down in the mines and spend tons of time gathering resources. Um, but more than that, I think it'll also require that using between computer craft and uh, rail crafts auto digging, the, um, the quarry from IC or uh, build craft, build craft, and a number of other things. If you don't know what these are, don't stress about it. Um, I'm not going to try to speed through the mods or anything like that. I'll you know take it one step at a time as we move forward. But I'm going to explore a little bit. Uh, Hopefully find some food, and I will get back to you guys once I have. Um, 
hopefully found a place to live and uh, haven't died of starvation or fall damage. That's neat. See you soon. Oh no, I found some quicksand. Dig, shovel, dig. Dig, shovel, dig. Get me out of this terrible stuff. Phew. Ugh. I thought I was watching out for those. Nighttime got me. Nighttime! First Minecraft night. And I am playing on hard, so um, I found some sheep, killed them. Um, we're just going to sleep off this night since we're still looking for a place to live. And I have no armor. Uh, suppose I could make some. I did kill some cows. Hmm. Nah, we'll save the leather for uh, something else. Uh, oh. Some zombie spawn. Be dead zombie. All right, off we go. We're going to explore. I ran into an ocean, so we're going to follow it around a little bit, hopefully find uh, a nice place to settle. Um, see you guys when I do. Poor pig. Pig didn't have a shovel. All right, guys. I believe I have found it. I found a lush green meadow. It's got pigs, and there's some cows in the jungle, and uh, there's some sheep over there. I did walk around it a little bit. We've got uh, a taiga over that way, um, barely showing, sharing the corner. A beautiful sandy beach, a nice little peninsula spot there, and it continues out and around, and then the rest of the area is um, jungle. Um, mini jungle, I think. Well, it's one of the biome, XL biomes. So <clears throat> um, this will be our house. Oh, look, cows right there. This will be um, the place where we build our village. Uh, so I think we'll get started here. We're going to set up a basic house, just probably, uh, um, you know, no, nothing too fancy. A little wood cabin, maybe. Um, just something to live in for a little while. Um, start pl plopping our stuff down. Um, you know, maybe you just use it for a hunting lodge, for example. Um, let's see how much wood do I got. 44. We're going to need a little bit more wood, which means uh, I'm probably headed back into the jungle. But I'm going to mark this on the map as our location. Um, so, waypoint. We're going to call this uh, village. And we'll, we need a name. Um, this is the part that I'm bad at. I'm bad at naming stuff, so um, if you guys can drop in the comments, please, a name for our village. Um, anything will do. Um, I would appreciate it. Um, I have no ideas. So, name the village, and I will change the waypoint name, and um, we'll go from there. Uh, but I'm off to chop down some wood so I can build a hunting lodge, and uh, I'll be back in a moment. Alright, I've got a whole bunch of wood, um, put quite a bit of durability break into this axe. I really don't want to have to make another stone one, so after this we're going caving. But for now, um, I'm about uh, 80 meters away from Village Center Square, wherever that where that will sit, um, and my furnace and my bed. Um, over here I figured a hunting slash kind of uh, a woodsman's lodge should go next to the woods. So. This is where we're going to put it. We're going to put it over here. Uh, this might be a little bit away from town for a while, but you know what? That's all right. Um, I'm just going to dig out a foundation, uh, mine out a little bit of cobble um, from a hillside over there. Um, I hope I don't have to go get more. I probably will. It's not going to be a huge structure since it's going to be our first one, and it's just a little woodsman's uh, lodge anyway. So I'm just going to lay down some cobble and um, build it up with... Uh, just wood. How wide would this be? Only two wide. Is that wide enough? 
That's pretty small on the inside. That's exactly the amount of combo I had. There we go. You're not going to see that block. It's fine. We can build it like this. The cobble's just for the floor inside anyway. Yep, we're doing that. Alright, we're going to go here. Let's let that be wood. Let's just take it up a little bit here. I try not to build square structures, um, if I can help it. They're boring. They look boring. Um, they just, you know, it, it, the world's already cube enough. It doesn't need our help. So as much as I can, I'm going to go ahead and try to not build square and cube structures. So that's why this one's not a hugely interesting shape, but, you know, should be. it's better than a square. So, or a rectangle. Jump over there. Get up here. Let's take this up one more. That looks, that looks pretty good. Food break. Alright. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Where should we put the door? On this side, maybe? Mm, it's a little small. Here? Let's put it there. Maybe it should... Maybe it should face out towards the woods. Maybe it should be here. How many blocks wide is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's even. Could do double door there, single door there. Let's do a single door there. I think. And then a double window. Yeah. Check it from the outside. I always want to try to balance out a look. Yeah, see that looks that looks nice and even. Just a, you know, post door, post window. A double window or a double door often can um you know, it won't be symmetrical, but that's fine. Not everything needs to be symmetrical. It just needs to be balanced. And that's a nice balanced look. So we're going to go with that. We're going to make this wall solid. You don't want every wall to be the same, too. A lot of builds I see people build, they just overuse windows. Um, they just put windows everywhere. So we're going to try not to do that. I don't need any more logs for this, so we'll make that a solid wall. You know, maybe eventually we get a painting on that wall or something. Nice, interesting place for a window. Works for me. Definitely need a window here. Maybe it goes all the way across. That looks good. Nice little bay window there. You know what? If we do that, this got to go. Balance the look. Yep, nice balanced look. Let's go two out, make a post. Make that look like it's kind of its own separate room. Yep, that works. Add a post, like that, and then double windows, bounce that look. Yep, solid wall, something will go there. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, let's get some pillaring dirt. Let's get up and make this so I have a roof. Oh, we're going to need a different material to build the roof out of. Because more of this wood is not going to cut it. I did manage to get some rubber wood. Which turns into jungle wood. But I'd rather save the jungle. The I'd rather save that wood. Mm. I haven't seen any more tre any other trees around here. That's gonna be an issue. So I can go with stone stone cobblestone. Stone brick or jungle wood. Let's use jungle wood half slabs. Let's do that. Let's just do it. Where's my work table? Crafting bench real. Jungle wood half slabs. Hopefully that's enough. 36. 30, 42. Okay, that's enough. I hope. Should we raise one there? Yeah, we should. Let's go around like this here first. Is that weird? Ever since the sound rehaul, when you place that second one, it's super loud. The first one, fine. Second one, really loud. I don't know why. It's strange to me. Should sound the same as when you place the first one. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna do 
that. Crunch. Double place. Alright. I don't know, it's weird to me. It seems like it should just make the sound as every the same sound as every other half slab. Why did I think that was enough? That's not nearly enough. We didn't even get close. Oh, because it was more than 33, that's why I thought it was enough. Which is how many of those we have. Hmm. Rethinking the roof. Yep, these come off. I'm going to tear these off and catch up with you guys in a second. I'm editing that in. <laughs> no! It was you. <laughs> Alright, you know what? We're just gonna do a flat roof. That should hopefully work. Um, we'll have to see what it looks like from the outside. It's night time again, which... Oh, Piggy! You want to live here? Do you? No? Okay. Well, I'm going to have to make a new axe. There's no way around that. Alright. Well, that'll do. We need to furnish it. But uh, let's figure out some torch placements that don't look terrible. Looks horrible. Maybe we put the... Uh, no. See, that looks fine. That doesn't look fine. Hmm. That works. And that works. And by the door. That works for me. There we go. Nice low roof. Small little... Just a little hunting shack. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't make a door. How about that? This is the Z6. Door. I'm gonna place it. Apparently on the inside, since I don't have a piece of cobble to put there. Oh, placed it wrong. Yeah, that's fine. Opens into the house. Looks good. We'll put a workbench in the corner. Yeah, that works for me. Oh no, I didn't just do that. Oh, we're gonna kill a couple Endermen. <laughs> Couldn't go better than ex that went much better than expected. Couldn't have gone much better than that. Two ender pearls, awesome. Pearls are so good in this. Ugh, 
Man, you can build such neat stuff with ender pearls. You can put the portal gun, you can build the routers from f um, factorization. Yep, yeah, yeah, from factorization. We're gonna keep those safe. Um, I'm gonna run and go sleep though. I hope. It's only a 77 meter run, I can make it. Alright, here we go. Alright, it's gonna take a nap. Uh, and check our time. So, be back in a sec. Alright, Creeper. <laughs>